Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete our edit portion and also we updated it, right? So before we did this work with using that eloquent warm. So here we edited it with using that eloquent warm and also we have updated it with using that eloquent warm. So right now I want to do, I want to do the same things. Okay. I want to do the same things with using that query builder. So how can do that work? I show you like, first of all, I want to edit it like here. If you right now I want to make it as a comment out. So if you want to edit, uh, that means you want to load some of the page with the edit a specific one of the ID or everything will be just like that same only in your controller. That means, you know, category controller here. I want to update it. So here, if you use that uh, query builder, it's possibly will be same. I they name it as a categories again. So I take one of the variable as a categories and then I want to do to add that DB. That means the DB. So I use that DB and then I will add that table, a table. That means from which table you want to get a specific ID data. I want to get a specific ID data from the categories table. That means here you have to do, you have to add this categories table right so now i add this category table and after that we have to do we have to put on the condition we have to put that condition when our this requested id will be matched with our category stable this field id that means when both of this will be matched like if you click as a edit and when you click as a edit here you can see that the eight id so that is the requested id so this id will be matched with our these categories and this id when it will be matched then it will be get this data Okay, so here you have to do, you have to add it. So for doing this, I want to do, I want to add one of the where condition. That means the where, where our database field name, our database field name as the ID, where our ID will be match. Okay, where our ID will be match with our this requested ID. That is, this is the our requested ID. So where it should be matched, then I want to do, I want to get one a specific one data. Right. So here I want to load a specific one data. So if you want to load one of the specific one data in um, query builder, you have to do, you have to add it as a fast data. So here you have to add as a fast. So I name it as a fast data. Okay, friend, I hope it's very much clear to you. So that is our DB and then our table from which table you want to get a specific data that is where our database table that means the category uh, category stable field uh, name as id id will be matched with our this requested id and then i get this fast data and i take this fast data and take the things with this variable and here i pass it in with the compact in our edit page so before i use that you look into what i am and that is the same code for the query builder Okay, friend. Now let's check this out. If you click on the save all, and now if you go to our all categories, so now if you click on the edit, yes, you can see the result is that just like that same. But right now we are using that query builder, right, friend? So now I want to do, I want to update it. So before we have updated it with using that uh, eloquent warm. So here, that is our update portion. So here we use that eloquent warm. So right now I want to do, I want to make it as a comment out. I want to use uh, query builder. It will be uh, very much easy to you. I hope I show you. Like if you want to use that eloquent um, query builder, then you have to add one of the data. So I take one of the data array. Okay, I take one of the data array. And after that into the data array area, you have to use that data. So with this data, you have to pass your all that field. Okay, so here I pass our field, that means our database field, our database field as a this one as a category name. So now I want to do I want to use this category name. Okay, you can see that is actually pretty much same procedure. So that is our category name equal to equal to our this requested category name. So before I have already discussed about that things with you, that was requested and that is our category name, right? So this category name is means whatever the name you actually pass from to this input field. So here I simply add it. That means the category name. And after that, you have to add that semicolon. So into the um, query builder, that means I look into RM, you have to use that comma. But into the when you use that as a query builder, then you have to use that as a semicolon. Okay. And also I want to do the same things for our um, another field. So here I take that as a data and data or field name or field name as a user ID. And user ID will be just like that same. It will be as an authenticated user ID. So it will be as an auth and then your user ID. Okay, friend. 
and also make that sure you add that semicolon and after that i have to do i have to update this data that means in our db into the db our table from into the which table you want to update it i want to update it in our this categories table that means that is our categories table so now i copy it and here i paste our this categories table and where you have to put that condition where again that means the where our same condition actually where our database field as id will be matched with our requested id that means that is actually our requested id right we did the same things for our edit so now for the update we also have to add it so when our this requested id and our database table id will be matched then i want to do i want to update it so here after that i want to update as update 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 our this data so now i want to do i want to add this data okay friend so that's all you have to do so procedure will be just like that same that's all this will for our query builder and this will for our elucian warren so when this data will be updated and after that it should be done redirect to the same as a all page with some of the success message so here you don't need to change anything so that's all now let's check this out our we successfully complete our update portion or not i click the save all now go here go to all category now i want to update that our aryan now click as a aryan one click as a update category yes you can see there's a category updated successful and category is also updated if you go to our database into the database if you browse it and you can see our update that means our category is name is now updated i hope it's very much clear to you friend how you can do that work with using that eloquent warm and how you can do this work with using that query builder so here we successfully complete our edit portion and i have discussed both of this with you so now in our next video i will discuss about the delete portion so into the delete i want to do i want to add as a soft delete okay soft delete means when you actually first of all delete it it should be saved as a temporary with our another area and after that you can delete it so how can uh, working with the soft delete how can delete it that means delete this category data permanently in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video